Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee. Thank you for stopping by and visiting. So I am going to unbox Anna Griffin's Finishing School box and it's the China cabinet. It's called China cabinet. I know I'm late. This has been sitting in my room for over a month, but I wanted to make a video and show you um, how it looks. And you pull this tab and it becomes a drawer. And um, this is her second year doing it. And I got four from last year. And I thought, you know, the other one's almost on its way. I better unbox this one and at least look at it. I haven't had a chance to make any cards yet. But it's beautiful. Um, the pictures that I see in the group is gorgeous. Um, so let's look at it. So what this is is she um, has classes. <clears throat> And she'll give you a code also uh, to this. And uh, I don't see my paperwork with my code in it. Huh. I'll have to call and see. But she gives you a code and you get to see the classes and everything for this. So here are what you're going to get. These are six by six cards, so look at that pattern. It's that color on that and that pattern. And that is light pink and very light pink. I don't know if you're seeing the patterns or not, but they're double sided. I love the new blues that she keeps putting in her products now. Very pretty. Very pretty. I haven't watched any videos on how to, but I have seen a lot of project shares in Anna Griffin's um, group. And then here are the cards. You can still sign it saying who made it, but isn't that card pretty? So here's two, and then here's two more. And what it is is you have dies and layers and layers, and you make it look like a china plate. Very vintage. It's supposed to look like a plate. I wish you'd come out with the um, papers to match because we have the teacup die and we could have a plate card and a teacup die paper to match. If you're having a ladies over for, for a tea party, you could send them out this card with a teacup. So, and then here are, well, here she gives you um, the gold foil to um, use. And here are the dies. And then we'll look at, and then of course it comes with the envelopes. And here are the dies. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine all together, and you layer it. See, I don't have a um, how to. Oh, I do have a how to. Here it is. It was falling back below. So, but see the layers on the card. And it has a code underneath my fingers. See the layers of the card? And it tells you exactly how to make everything. Look at those examples. Aren't they beautiful? I can't wait to make this. Um, but there's the dies. And then we get the embossing folder to match. Wait until I show you all the embellishments. So hold on. And then here is another layer that would coordinate with the cards. 
Sorry to make so much noise. See how they would coordinate. Wow, look how fancy that is. It's very um, shiny and raised and foiled. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> you don't want to cover any of these up. They're so pretty. <laughs> I hate covering stuff up. Everything's too pretty. But then when you see it layered, it's gorgeous too. And I'm thinking, what, uh, what don't I see underneath? I struggle with layering. Some people can layer five and seven times. And I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that. But I try. Isn't it beautiful? So those are just um, the layer part. So now let me get a box lid to something else of Anna's and open up the little flowers. And I love this size flower. <coughs> Look at all the embellishments. Isn't that gorgeous? The purples and the roses. There's always roses in her kits. All the roses. Wow. I love the size of it too. Look at, oh, is this a corner rounder to go in the corner of the card? So if we had a card, let's just get a basic, huh? let me say get a basic card and I don't see a basic card, but is that a corner rounder? Look at that. Wow. Are you kidding me? So if you had this and then you put that there. Look at that. See how simple she makes these kits? Wow. Let's see what else. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, man. I wasn't going to start working on this today, but now I'm kind of wanting to, but I'm going to wait and enjoy this probably in about three or four days. But look at that. Look at all the embellishments you get and everything. And they're so dainty and beautiful and so much of it. Wow. Guys, if you are wondering, is it worth it? I always have half of my supplies left over. I always have more than what I think I need. And that's me. That's me even putting three to five embellishments on each card of these type of embellishments. I don't know if these are stickers or if they are, um, if you have to glue them on yourself. I think they're stickers, yeah. But, you know, oh, wait a minute. I just saw another <laughs> bag. So let's see what this is. Oh, she gave us sentiments too. Of course she did. They're cards. I forgot they were cards. I'm thinking I'm making a table. <laughs> I swear to God, I am telling the truth. I forgot it was cards. I thought I was making like a place setting. I, oh my Lord. <laughs> Thinking of you. And I love the size. Well done. Love is best wishes. Well done. Many thanks. Be well. And if you don't like the embellishment, you can always layer something on top of it. With love, sending hugs, um, happy birthday, your kindness warms my heart, uh, for my friend, thinking of you. I mean, guys, if you're not sure if you should buy Anna Griffin's um, card kits, I'm telling you, it is the best bang for your dollar. You really should consider doing it. Um, just try one simple one. This was this one's more because it's got dies, you know, and maybe a little harder. But if you're a beginner, start with one of her kits, and it will help you. 
um, just make a beautiful card so quick and easy. Thank you for watching. All my links are down below. Have a blessed day.